Dr. Yasmin? Yes, ma'am. Will you please read this question and answer it? Madam, question number one. No, uh, first uh, we have to read the scenario. You were asked to review a term baby. You were asked to review a term baby, George, mm -hmm. uh, six hours of age with granting. He was mm -hmm. born by continuous vaginal delivery following pre labor mm -hmm. of 16 hours. Mm -hmm. In delivery, he did not require any resuscitation and there was no immediate respiratory concern. He fed well initially, but his mm, mom has uh, struggled uh, to feed him since then. Uh, on examination, he has a loud expiratory grant. His um, respiratory rate 80 mm, breaths per minute with subcostal and intercostal resuscitation, uh, recession and heart rate 170 beats per minute. His temperature uh, 36.3 degrees Celsius. His peripheries are cool. His oxygen saturation 89% in year and year and is equal bilaterally. And number one question, what in- What is your diagnosis? Doctor, what is your diagnosis? From the above scenario, this is our John, George baby. Mm -hmm. Early onset of neonatal sepsis. Yes, this is early onset of neonatal sepsis. With the history of pre, uh, pre labor rupture of memory. Okay. Baby has loud expiratory granting, respiratory distress. Okay. What investigation is most likely to guide immediate management? Immediate management. Immediate mm -hmm. management. And then blood gas. Very good. Why blood gas? Mm. Why not blood culture? Mm. Why not blood? Immediate management. Very good. Very good. This is the game of RCPCH. Because of course, blood culture is blood culture is necessary, mm, and it is mandatory also. But they asked you that what will guide you the immediate management? Will I start the CPAP or I keep this baby in the ventilation? Which parameter gives me this suggestion? Only one issue. That is blood gas analysis. It will tell me if the baby has severe distress, severe acidosis, so we have to keep this baby in ventilator. So blood gas analysis will help us. Is it clear to other member? Dr. Sophie? Yes, it's clear. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Okay. What is the common organism in early neonatal age? I give you a clue. This is, how can you memorize? This is gel. Organism of early onset of neutral sepsis. Gel. What is gel? Group based streptococcus, E. coli, listeria. You can easily memorize by gel. Organism of early onset neutral sepsis, gel. Group based streptococcus, E. coli. And this area. Dr. Firos, are you getting my point? Yes, yes. Okay. Do you enjoy our class? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Now then solve this problem, Dr. Fields. A 24-week baby is born spontaneously onset of premature labor in a mother who colonized to be group-based streptococcus. There was no time for intermittent steroid. At delivery, is vigorous, but her respiratory effort is intermittent and requires 80% oxygen to achieve educate saturation of the baby. 
what is the diagnosis? I think it's sepsis. Yes. Why sepsis? Because the mother is suffering from the group B streptococcal infection. Streptococcal and, and as well as the baby's preterm. Yeah. Okay, then Dr. Shundip. Dr. Shundip. Yes, ma'am. So the second one. Eight-year-old boy. Eight-year-old boy. Eight hour old boy. Born in yes. 37 weeks with birth weight 2.1 kg, has repeated episode of cyanosis, his oxygen saturation are noted to improve when he cries during cannulation. He mm -hmm. has a loud mama yes. and you think his eyes are small. What is the diagnosis? And the important point is the baby is improved when he cries. In the world, there is one situ uh, situation when while crying, baby sinus is abolished. What is the condition? Kanle is a situation that sinus is abolished. Condition and nam take it. This is quanal atresia. In case of quanal atresia, in case Dr. Sophie and others look, in case of quanal atresia, when the baby will be crying by taking more oxygen by mouth, then the cyanosis will be some extent relieved. So diagnosis will be quanal atresia. Dr. Sophie, Dr. Firoz, do you get in my point? Yes, yes. Thank you. Dr. Sophie, Dr. Sophie. Yes. Mm -hmm. 